third grade. Today you are getting back your painting, you're getting your sketchbook, and at your seats you have tree silhouette packets. A silhouette is a black outline of um, anything, a, a topic, without a lot of detail, just black paint. So what we're going to be doing is adding tree silhouettes to our painting. In your sketchbook, I want you to turn to a fresh page and kind of practice doing some trees. Here's a tip for drawing trees. With a pencil, you have to start from the bottom trunk, and you can kind of draw that up. Okay? It doesn't have to be a silhouette right now. It can just be a line drawing. Then you kind of split the tree into like a V shape. After you have one branch, then you can kind of double it up, and you can add other branches. And it kind of gets skinny as it, as it moves out, and it can go up and down and out. You can also have branches that are thicker or thinner and they can split into another V. And it's just a series of splits. If you forget a branch, you can always draw it back on because we're going to be painting them in black. And right now you are just practicing. You can look at the different types of trees and the way that their branches go to kind of inspire you. For instance, this one kind of comes up in curves. We could do one that comes up in curves. And then you can go in and then fill in the blank spaces with some branches. And then those branches get thicker and thinner, and then they break away. And they're kind of pointing towards sunlight because all plants kind of grow towards the sun. They're trying to reach the sun because um, that's what helps them to stay alive. And then you can kind of put in different lines. Now, you don't have to just necessarily do um, trees with branches. If you want to do evergreen trees, you can do those too. Um, one way to draw those is kind of start with the trunk again, believe it or not. And it's kind of a skinnier one. It goes to a point. And then you can kind of put in like a series of small to larger spaces and then when you were, were to fill those in, they're kind of almost like crooked, jaggedy triangles. And then when you paint them, you'll get a realistic looking tree. Now, on after you feel comfortable and you have an idea of what kind of tree you want to make, after you've practiced a couple, you can put this aside and get out your painting. Now, you're going to think about foreground, middle ground, background, so your tree I'd like it to be kind of in the foreground and kind of large. And then you kind of fit it on your cliff, and then you can draw it in with pencil first. Now, if you make a mistake, because it's pencil on paint, it kind of does erase a little bit. So if you draw lightly, you won't have a hard time uh, making the tree exactly the way you want it to. And then you're going to draw in all your branches. When you have it all finished and drawn out, if you have time, then you are going to start painting it. Anything that's wet goes on the drying rack today at the end of class. If you're not done painting the sky or anything else, the paint colors are still on the counter. And you're going to draw those in place. Once it's drawn in place, then, I, then you have plates of black paint I've already kind of set up for you to try to make things a little quicker. Where are your smocks? Um, I never want you to ruin your clothes. So then you would start at the top of your tree with the very tip of your um, brush. At Make sure the brush is like a point and then you kind of paint them in. I start at the top because I don't want to drag my arm through it. Um, but you always know the trick that you can always flip your paper around. So if I were to start and I feel like I can't reach it then I'm just going to go in and paint very carefully. If I'm using the tip, I can control the size of my brush. So if you, you can go like this and kind of roll it on the, the plate, get it to be the point that you need, and then don't put a lot of pressure. Just let the paintbrush drag along to do nice thin lines. And then after you get your branches, you can even go in and add little thinner ones if you want. Add as many branches as you, you can. If you look outside my window, you can see trees and how many branches they actually have. So you can just keep going and going and going. But then you want to do the trunk down to the foreground. I kind of always go out at the bottom of my trunk because the base has roots. And then when it's totally done and painted, 
it is going to go on the drying rack. So I'm going to finish painting this. You can get started with your sketchbook. Someone will come around and deliver them today. When you're done with it, you can put it in the middle of the table for collection at the end of class, and then draw onto your picture and paint in your branches and then extra branches if you have time. All right, thank you for listening.